If you can keep it in there, yeah, if you can keep it in there, yeah. I'm just leaving the flaps at one setting. I think full flaps is too much. Folks, Rich here at RCInformer.com. Thanks for watching this review of Hobby King's Giant Cessna 182. As you saw from the video, it's actually a really nice flying airplane. I was uh, very impressed by everything it did. Uh, it did fantastic takeoffs and landings, very, very easy. Touch and goes were a breeze. The takeoff, run, and landing roll were very, very, very short. Uh, the plane operates in uh, many different envelopes, as you can see. Uh, it, uh, it's quite aerobatic as well, and if you push the throttle forward, it actually will go fast. Anybody who's a beginner would uh, probably really like and probably really enjoy flying this airplane. As long as you have an instructor to teach you how, it's very suitable for that. Uh, in addition, once you've progressed, once a beginner has progressed past uh, uh, learning how to take off and land and so forth, uh, as you can tell from the video as well, it, uh, it does aerobatics very nicely. It's very good for uh, introductory aerobatics. Uh, loops, it does very nice round loops, rolls, uh, even inverted flight. I was very surprised. I thought it would be difficult, but once you roll it upside down, uh, it handles uh, very nicely. Uh, a scale enthusiast would actually like this airplane uh, a whole lot as well, too. As you've noticed, it's, it's pretty big, and for the $200 price tag, roughly, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real nice airplane. It has lots of detail, lots of panel lines throughout it, and uh, lots of little details in the foam. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about it is very cool, uh, I used to fly Cessnas in the past, uh, is that it has corrugated control surfaces, elevators, flaps, ailerons, just like the real thing. And uh, it's, it's quite a nice detail to have. Um, one of the other things I like too is the wheel pants on this airplane. Usually wheel pants are kind of a hassle and uh, a lot of times um, you uh, get the uh, a lot of times wheel pants you have a problem with with them breaking while you're flying the airplane or uh, they come loose and so forth this airplane uh, they seem to be really actually functional on the plane we, somebody's actually we actually already had somebody training on this airplane for a few weeks now and has beat it up quite a bit but uh, as you can see the wheel pants are um, are, are staying on and they're they're, uh, they're they're doing a pretty good job uh, and they look fantastic in the air they make the plane a little more aerodynamically clean and so forth uh, when I built this airplane, uh, I was very impressed and I was real happy with actually how easy it was to build. There's really only three items that you have to glue on the airplane. The horizontal stabilizer gets uh, glued straight on with epoxy I used. The vertical stabilizer plugs in and glues right in with epoxy as well. And then of course the nose wheel pant, that's the only part you glued on. I, I actually used the, uh, 
the uh, uh, foam adhesive that came with the airplane and that was very suitable for, for, for putting that on. Once you glue those three things on, this airplane just bolts together. The wings bolt in, spars bolt, or the um, struts bolt in, landing gear and so forth. The rest of it just kind of goes together easy with nuts and bolts. Uh, another thing to note um, uh, that this is uh, all a Hobby King airplane. Um, it has uh, a Turnigy 9X that I'm using. It's unmodified, no module was changed or anything. I uh, can operate the flap settings and so forth from this radio and, and it flies nice. It has excellent range and I have had no problem with this radio. I use it on my vectored thrust jets as well and it, and it, and it does everything I need it to do. Um, uh, after, as I built the airplane, uh, and as you saw from the video, uh, I did a lot of pretty aggressive maneuvers. I, I yanked and banked on the airplane a little bit. And uh, as I built the airplane, I noticed that there were a couple things that I wanted to do to it to make it a little bit better. Uh, one of the main things I did were, was the wing struts that uh, support the wings underneath. I, I actually made those a little stronger on the inside. Uh, there was just a little piece of wood to hold them in. And by strengthening that, I think you can make the airplane a, a whole lot better. Uh, in addition, I changed the, uh, the, the main landing gear uh, uh, axles because they seem to be a little thin, the ones the factory sent you, so I improved that. And uh, for the size prop that this airplane uses, uh, the motor that came with the airplane, uh, it seemed to be, uh, it, actually when I, when I tested it, it, it ran, uh, it pulled almost 70 amps, which I thought was a little bit high. So rather than, rather than short, small, make the prop a little smaller, I, uh, I went ahead and just put a bigger motor on it. I even used a, a Turnigy uh, uh, a motor in there that uh, on the website I'll show you how to upgrade that. Um, I also use a Turnigy battery in this, so there's no aftermarket parts on this thing other than just Hobby King stuff. Uh, as I made these upgrades and changes, I went ahead and documented all that stuff. I photographed it and uh, I put all that stuff on the website. So this is actually part one of the review. Part two of the review, you can go to uh, rcinformer.com and you can see a, a, a pretty lengthy textural description with photographs that will show uh, any of the changes and the improvements and upgrades and things uh, that I've made to this airplane. Um, in addition, you'll find um, uh, there's a center of gravity in there. Uh, the, uh, the instructions didn't really put a CG in there, so I had to sort of make one up for it, which wasn't too, too hard. Uh, control throws, I went ahead and uh, put those all on the website. Weights, it needed some nose weight and so forth. So there's a lot of improvements and upgrades and building techniques uh, that will help you with this airplane, actually, and any other airplanes you may have as well. All you really need to do is just go to rcinformer.com, uh, look at the trainer tab at the top, uh, and uh, the drop down menu will show you this airplane. And uh, you can get a lot of good information there. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video today. We hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully, there'll be more to come in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, what you can do for us actually is uh, leave us some feedback, uh, leave us some feedback uh, via email, and uh, let us know what you think. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. I put it in auto mode in I had him in sport mode.
check out rcinformer.com. <laughs> See you guys.